Hi guys! <laughs> I have a friend visiting me this weekend. Hi. <laughs> so I'm a little tour guide around Copenhagen. And today we're going to the Interior Design Museum, which I've never been to before, but apparently it's very nice. So I'm gonna take you guys with me and you can see for yourself. Several days later. I'm landing on my feet and doesn't say no sleep. I shake it off, I shake it off. To this sick beat. My ex-man brought his new girlfriend. She's like, oh my god, I'm just gonna shake it. To the fella over there with the hella good hair. Won't you come on up and baby? We can shake, shake, shake. On a boat, uh, your new girl is my clone. Baby, was it over then? And is 
it up and out I think about jumping On the very top some things Just to see you come running And say the one thing I've been wanting but no Ah, oh. oh, I just kicked the camera. Hectic energy, it's Monday morning, um, which means I need a big boost for this week. And a lot has happened. As you saw, my friend was here. Hi, Nika, if you're watching. She was visiting me in Copenhagen for a weekend. It was really fun to have a guest here and have her here. And I always loved Copenhagen so much when I was visiting. I was walking around the city center and I loved it so much. And I kept thinking, oh, I would love to live here someday. And now I do. But when you move to the city, you most likely can't afford to live in the middle of it. So I live on the, still in Copenhagen, but a bit on the outside in the apartments, buildings area. So it's easy to forget how pretty the city is. I think that's a little bit better and the light is right over there so it looks like I have an aureola but I don't mind but yeah it was really fun to have someone over and be able to go see the city as a tourist again to see tourist attractions and I forget that Copenhagen is the city that tourists actually come to so when we were walking the main streets I was like oh my gosh where have these people come from so I got to experience a little bit of those frustrations but we went to the design museum and that was really fun I've never been there before the only thing is that Nika has been there once a few years ago when she was visiting Copenhagen and she told me there was this very nice wall of chairs that were lit up and she took some nice pictures over there so when we were going through the museum it was all very nice but especially her I think me I haven't seen it so I had less expectations but for her because she saw it and she really liked it she was walking around and like okay next room is gonna be the one with the chairs next one is gonna be with the chairs then we approached some sort of section where the chairs were and she was like oh they for sure are here and then actually that exhibition was apparently taken down or we couldn't find it maybe it disappeared so that was the only thing that the museum was really fun but I think she was a little bit disappointed because that one exhibition she really liked wasn't there but it was very fun I definitely recommend you going and I filmed a lot over there as you saw the footage but still not all of it there were still rooms I haven't filmed and then we went to the Paludan which is a very nice cafe in uh, Copenhagen and it's uh, books are everywhere books are on the shelf I think you can rent some of them but not the old ones more of the modern ones but I think it has a very cozy vibes I take my Tinder dates there sometimes because it's a very nice place and uh, even if date doesn't go super well at least I get a you know nice uh, nice tea out of it <laughs> or nice coffee depending on the time is so if you see me ever there with some guy I'm probably on the first Tinder date <laughs> And also, I've just came back from Aarhus. For those of you who don't know, I lived in Aarhus for seven years, now I'm in Copenhagen. But the company that I work for still has offices in Aarhus, so I go there sometimes. And I went there this past weekend for the company's Christmas party. And since this vlog is about Denmark, I have to tell you about Jule Frokost. Because Danes love their Danish Christmas parties. And basically, Jule Frokost means Christmas lunch. But it's not a lunch, it's always in a dinner time with yeah, dinner and a lot of alcohol. Danes get crazy during those parties. In Poland, Christmas parties are more for children. The company organizes a party for employees and everyone brings children and then they have Santa Claus and give out presents and it's much more, you know, centered around kids. This thing is definitely not for children. Everyone gets really wasted and it's always very crazy. One of my exes worked for a very big Danish company, I'm gonna say the name, but very big Danish company. And he told me that during his Christmas party, people got so drunk that when there was a stage, when the band was playing on, people went underneath, because I guess you could access it somehow, went underneath and they were like having a CEX during the company Christmas party. Also, one of my Danish friends told me the statistics that apparently a lot of people cheat on their spouses during the company Christmas parties. And in my company, nothing crazy like that ever happened. Just everyone got drunk and dancing. I'm going to show you some clips now from, from it, I guess, because you probably want to see how it is. <laughs> And I 
also in Denmark we unfortunately don't get a lot of snow. The issue is that it very rarely stays in minus degrees throughout the winter. There's a lot of Americans watching my videos, so I'll explain to you the Celsius temperature. Basically zero and underneath is when the water starts to freeze and above that, that's when it melts. So very often in Denmark, during the night, there's minus two, minus three degrees and the snow falls. And then in the morning, when you wake up, you still see the snow, but then by noon, the temperature is two or three degrees and then uh, it all melts. So it's very rarely that we actually get to see throughout the day, the snow covered fields, because it always melts away. But for the past few days, when I was in uh, Aarhus, snow actually stayed and uh, it was so beautiful in a train I will show you some clips. It was truly a winter wonderland experience and that's not normal for Denmark. It was very, very pretty. One day later. Hi! <laughs> Today is new, new day and it's 2 p.m. but it's already so dark outside. It's been so cloudy these past days. I don't like it, I don't like it at all. But I'm trying to get my ass out of my house. So I'm going to go to the city center to Kongens Nytorf. And I saw Chanel has a pop-up over there. I think it's like an ice skating rink or something. But I'm a small town girl from Poland, okay? The fact that Chanel does a pop-up is still very exciting for me because that would never happen in the place where I grew up. So I'm still excited to go and check it out. And they also have Christmas markets over there. And I don't think Christmas markets are as big thing in Denmark as they are in Germany um, or in some other countries. Basically, I've never heard anyone, oh, let's go to a Christmas market just for fun to hang out. But it's basically the same place. So I'll go check it out and maybe have some Abel's Kriwa. Abel's Kriwa are those Danish donuts and that's what you always have around Christmas time little snacky and the word able means apple but there's actually no apples inside of them <laughs> I've read somewhere that that's how they used to make them back in the day so the name stayed and then you have those little donuts and you have powdered sugar on the side and marmalade and you dip it in and uh, I like those a lot and in a grocery store they have bags everywhere of the frozen ones and everyone buys them and reheats them but I actually made one so my Danish friends them from scratch and you have a special pan that you use for frying them <laughs> ignore how horrible my face looks in this light but i wanted to show you because i picked up a new hobby and it's been all over tiktok painting candles and i know people do it with acrylic paints or with candle wax and the thing is that with the acrylic paints you can make it so much nicer <laughs> because you can paint it very precisely and stuff like that but then you cannot really burn it because it's a bunch of toxins so uh, i've been doing the one with wax which is very tricky because wax is not so easy to spread and i'm going to show you the candle i did before with little hearts you see the little hearts it doesn't look that bad and then this is the danish advent candle if i can focus it's a Danish tradition that from 1st of December you burn the candle and you can see each day you burn one number down all the way down to 24th and right now I'm painting some more candles and I want to do flowers I think I'm gonna try I'm melting my tea candles from Ikea to have different colors and this is the beginning
basically it for today's vlog. I'm flying to Poland tomorrow. I haven't packed yet at all. And I'm meeting a friend for a coffee because we didn't have time to meet up earlier. Um, so it's going to be a busy night for me. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know. Merry Christmas and very, very happy new year because I'm not going to see you before then. Uh, and for now, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.